What's going on boys, Minuscule Mitch here, back once again. Guys, if you're new around here and you do enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button. Road to the final two. Guys, we got Hazard on there, Kessie, Gabriel, Sandro, Correa. Oh my god, that looks like some big, big cards right there, boys. Let's start out. I'm just going to check out and run through all this. First of all, the objective. I think it's Sandro, right? Or no, not. Uh, it's Correa is the objective. So... 84 rated Correa. I'll take a look at his stats on Footbin in a moment. Looks pretty solid as is right now, though. But you need uh, three assists with a through ball. Easy enough. It's all on this uh, foot friendly crap, which you can say what you want about it. I'm not a big fan. It really just deters from you getting rivals points and ranking up your rivals. So I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, next up, score in six separate matches. So that's a minimum of six matches this is going to take you. Assist 10 goals. Easy enough. So assist three, assist ten, and win four. So this is a six game card if you I mean if you really break it down. You can win four out of six most of the time if you're a decent player. Um, so pretty simple to get and uh, looks like a pretty solid card as of right now. Like I said, we'll take a uh, deeper dive into that in just a moment. Uh, next up we're going to go to the SBC player who is um, Sandra, I believe. Sorry, it's hard to see past my face on here. Yes, so Sandro here. Wow, three-star, three-star, high, medium, left foot. None of that's super ideal, but it's fine. Uh, it's not bad. 5'11". We get into his stats here. He's got decent pace, pretty good shot power, and the passing's really good on this card. Uh, dribbling's pretty solid. Composure's good. Uh, agility, balance, reactions are all, like, all right. But this is a card that you got to look at. It's going to be upgraded over time. Uh, and then defending is pretty solid, and the physicals are actually pretty good. 91 stamina, 83 aggression. Uh, and he does have no traits, but he's Brazilian, he's from Syria, and he's from Juventus uh, particularly. So they are definitely going to advance a couple times in the Champions League. Um, I can see this card going to like an 89-90, and you know, I'm a Juve fan, so hopefully they go to a 95 or whatever, whatever the end rating is. But... Um, for, let's see what it requires here. Two squads. 84 rated. One team of the week player. That's pretty simple. That's not too, too bad at all. And then 86 rated. One Juve player. Um, that one's going to be a little bit pricier. If I had to guess, I'd say like 150 to 200k. Not really bad for a card that down the line has a ton and ton of potential. But uh, let me hop on the foot bin, guys, and check these out a little bit better for you guys. So we're on here now. Uh, let's take a look at Sandro. Yeah, he's coming in at 158K right now. So that's not bad at all. I, I definitely would recommend doing that. He looks pretty good as of right now, but you also have to take in account that he is going to be very good down the line. So definitely someone I would do personally. And then this Correa card did not get to look at the stats, but he's four star, four star, medium high, which is very good. <clears throat> he's from Argentina in this area, which is also very good. Six foot two, uh, but he's got really good pace on his card. Um, the finishing and shooting is all right, not great. Um, agility and balance. Um, balance is not particularly great. Stamina is pretty good, uh, but it's a pretty solid card. Uh, and you got to keep in mind that, again, he can probably get upgraded down the line. If you throw a 100 card on him, he's pretty usable right now. Uh, he's not going to blow you away, but he looks pretty solid. And uh, Lazio, I believe, will probably get some wins as well. So that looks pretty good. All right, I'm just going to check out the rest of these players for you guys. It's a little bit of uh, Champions League and a little bit of Europa League mixed in together, so which is cool. I definitely appreciate that. But we start out with a Kanji here, 550k capped at, and he's not even on the market right now. So that's interesting. Uh, he's got really good pace, really good defending, and pretty solid physicals. He's six foot two. Dribbling could use a little work, but it's not bad at all. Um, really cool card. I'm a big fan of his. I don't know what it is about him, but I've always liked him in FIFA. Uh, and he is for Dortmund as well, which is a very good uh, club to be on this year. They have a lot of good players at the moment. Next up, we have Julian Draxler, who's someone I'm very interested in because I'm stuck with, well, I'm blessed to have Neymar uh, for the year. I packed him untradeable, as you guys know. Um, so I've been looking for links to him. I'm trying to get to that burn at, at uh, level 30, but it's really hard to get there. Um... So, Drexler's coming in about 114 right now, but he's 4-star, 5-star, 6-foot-2, medium, medium. 
So that's not crazy great, but PSG is a team that can win the Champions League. So you got to think about this card when he's up in that 88 to 90 rated range. Uh, and if he's worth buying, he's going to drop a lot for 114k. If he's worth buying around 30, 40k, holding on to him for the year. But uh, looks okay. He's going to be really, really good down the line. Another card I'm pretty interested in. Obviously not a great league, but a decent nation. It's Quincy Prompts. He's 5-star, 4-star, which is awesome. 5-9, uh, medium high, and just really, really good stats on this card. You throw an engine on him or something. Engine or a... Uh, finisher now they change it from sniper that's a pretty solid cam or striker whatever you want to go with um really good finishing shooting on the card great dribbling five star skills really fun card he's capped at 270 he's probably going to get a price upgrade because a lot of people are going to want to use this card uh next up we have gabriel jesus who's coming in at 1.1 million good god again another team that can go deep in champions league uh, Brazilian from the Prem, 4-star, 3-star, 5-9, high, high. Uh, already really, really good dribbling stats on the card. Good shooting stats. Um, looks really solid. You throw a hunter on him, and he's going to be an absolute stud at this point in FIFA. Uh, good stamina as well. Yeah, just a really, really good card. And that card's going to be worth some coins down the line, because they're definitely, he's going to get to like 88, 89, 90. The card will be worth a lot. Next up, we have Eden Hazard, <coughs> 1.3. 4-star, four 4-star, four star, 5 9 medium-high, once again. Uh, pretty similar to Jesus, actually. A uh, little bit better dribbling on there. You throw a hunter on him, this is an endgame card already, honestly. Um, he's absolutely... He, I mean, that's a good card right there. Um, and down the line, a couple upgrades. Real Madrid have not been playing well, so that's something you have to take into account. But that card looks really solid. Then we get into these uh, Europa League ones. We have Eilis Bebu from Hoffenheim. Uh, he's six foot, four star, three star. He's got some pace on him. Dribbling's pretty solid. Shooting's not bad. I would throw a finisher on him. That becomes a pretty usable card. Actually, a really, really good card uh, as a striker. Um, the only thing I don't love is the three star, and then obviously a pretty rough nation and not a strong linkable uh, club. But not a bad card at all. He's coming in at about 100k right now. Uh, don't know much about them or where they're at in their league, but could move forward and be a decent card that gets upgraded. Next up, we have Kessie, who uh, was pretty good last year, had a couple cool cards. But, you know, he's your typical CDM. He's kind of like a Thomas Party. Uh, he's 81 rated at the moment, going for 200k, but he could get a couple upgrades. His dribbling and agility are actually, uh, or balance and agility are actually pretty solid already. So uh, this card gets up to about 85, he'll be very usable, and uh, that's definitely a, uh, a position that's needed in the Serie A. There's not a whole lot of CDMs in that league. Uh, next up, we have Musa Suzuka, who's going to be so expensive. Yeah, he's 800k for an 82 rated card with stats that aren't even that that great. Um, everybody wants him as a CDM or a, or a box of box because the guy is just a workhorse, but looks pretty solid. Uh, Tottenham's a team that can go pretty deep in that, so uh, that might be worth getting him a little bit down the line. I wouldn't say right now. He's just a little too pricey for a card that low rated. Uh, next up, we have a guy I've never heard of. Oh, Porto. Uh, looks pretty solid, to be honest with you. Um, nothing insane. Good stamina, really good pace. Uh, the dribbling's fine. It's not great. The shooting's fine. It's not great. Uh, passing's pretty solid on here. Three star, four star. Don't really love three star wingers, so it doesn't really interest me, but pretty cool card if he gets a couple upgrades. Uh, next up, Grimaldo. This card looks like it's going to be one for value here. Benfica is a sneaky team. They can win some games in their Europa League. He's 5'7", left footed as a left back. Medium high, pretty good pace, really, really good dribbling on him. Uh, good enough defending and 95 stamina already, so a shadow in this card, and he actually looks pretty solid if you can get him into a team. For only 70k and uh, potential for him to get upgrades, that's someone that I'm interested in. And finally, for the Europa League, we have Koulibaly, who is 89 rated. He's only 500k right now. That's actually a pretty fair price for him. Um, and you guys know Koulibaly. He's just a tank of a player. He's not agile. He's not balanced, but... He's got amazing strength, amazing defending, and he's actually got a decent bit of pace to him this year. So uh, definitely a pretty solid card, and uh, again, Napoli can make it pretty deep, so a card to keep an eye on. And finally, guys, overnight last night, 
Uh, we did have the Hyungmin Sun uh, Player of the Month card get released. Love the card design. Love Sun. Uh, do not love the price. 600k for an 89 rated when you can pay... Let's see here real quick. You can pay 95k for an 87. The stats are amazing on this card. Don't get me wrong on that. But I'll probably throw an engine on here and boost up that dribbling and the pace a little bit. Very, very good card. Um, five or Four star, five star as well. I don't know. Now that I look at it with the engine, it doesn't look that bad. But 600k at this stage in FIFA for to commit to an 89 rated card for the rest of the year is just a little bit questionable for me. Um, <clears throat> obviously, Sun has been playing out of his mind, so he might be due for a winter upgrade at some point. Um, but definitely a risky one here. Uh, I do love Sun and love the card, like I said. So if I didn't have that name already, I'd definitely have a big question mark on this card and uh, might be getting it myself. But uh, that is it for the new players and the new update, guys. If you did enjoy the video today and you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, leave a like or comment down below, and go check out the socials. I love interacting with you guys and uh, having a bunch of fun. How are you guys doing in that weekend league? I'm 6-2 and two personally, but uh, good luck to you all out there. Have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much.